this life and the enjoyment at that life at the paradise will be more better than this life so that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will recreate us in a form we do not know right now but when you read the ayats about Jannah you can see that the people in Jannah we hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will admit us there uh, the people therein uh, eat like we are eat but uh, they only eat for enjoyment they do not need to eat they uh, eat for uh, only for enjoying pure enjoyment and uh, also uh, they marry there and also uh, they speak with each other uh, you can see in the ayah that the enjoyment likes the enjoyment in this life uh, this may be the basic of that life but subhanahu wa ta'ala will grow and create and put many many surprises there لَهُمْ مَا يَشَاءُونَ فِيهَا for them therein whatever they want whatever they desire لَهُمْ مَا يَشَاءُونَ فِيهَا this what they desired وَلَدَيْنَا مَزِيد and we have uh, we have many others that they do not know وَلَدَيْنَا مَزِيد we can create what they cannot even imagine this is the life of the paradise and this all uh, these will start with the resurrection subhanahu wa ta'ala says ukhra, and then when we uh, command israfil uh, the angel israfil to sound the trumpet again you will see they are standing and they are looking at each other and uh, elsewhere in Quran there is ayah subhanahu wa ta'ala says when Allah invites you that day and you will respond with uh, praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with his praise and you will think at that moment you do not live but a brief moment you do not live but only a short time in, uh, in, in this world this will our uh, consideration at that moment subhanahu wa ta'ala informs us about our feelings at that moment he knows and you cannot find uh, a one who will inform you like him because he knows everything he informs us about our feelings at that moment we will feel that we do not live uh, only uh, a short time we'll say we, don't, we didn't live much time and what can understand we can understand from the ayah that this life is really short Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran that إنهم يرونه بعيدا you are seeing that uh, the day of resurrection and actually your death is very far you you see it far إنهم يرونه بعيدا they uh, see it far ونراه قريبا but we see it near we see it very near قريبا and the reality is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says because he his knowledge more than us he knows everything so when at that time we will understand that really we didn't we didn't live much time our life was very short so this life is short and the punishment and the day of resurrection uh, as a matter of fact our death is very near so we should be very careful about our life we do not have much time to waste our time we have reminded you we have warned you about a near uh, punishment we have warned you about a near punishment 
وَيَقُونُ الْكَافِرُ يَا لَيْتَنِي كُنْتُ تُرَابَ At that moment, the soul, the person, when he see what he did, uh, what he brought with him from this world, when he sees his, his evil deeds, at that moment, the disbeliever say, says, يَا لَيْتَنِي كُنْتُ يَا لَيْتَنِي كُنْتُ تُرَابَ Wow to me! I hope that I uh, would I, I have been a uh, dust. He will uh, this, he will wish that he did not a human being. Uh, he will wish that uh, he could be uh, a dust. Uh, he could be a, a, an earth. Uh, so this is uh, his, his. This is the biggest regret, regretful in that moment. So we do not have enough time and this what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informs us is very near. If you look at the sky, you can see that in every moment we are ready, it, it, it's possible uh, for such thing to happen uh, to this life. وأشرق let's move on to the ayah number 69 وأشرقت الأرض بنور ربها so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, recreated uh, all the people and they are ready they are looking they are standing and وأشرقت الأرض بنور ربها and the earth will be shined uh, with uh, the light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَأَشْرَقَتِ الْأَرْضُ بِنُورِ رَبِّهَا That earth is not the earth we are on it. Subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يَوْمَ تُبَدَّلُ الْأَرْضُ غَيْرَ الْأَرْضِ At that day, we will replace the earth. And that earth is not the, uh, this earth. غَيْرَ الْأَرْضِ Other than it. يَوْمَ تُبَدَّلُ الْأَرْضُ غَيْرَ الْأَرْضِ وَالسَّمَاوَاتُ The same thing will happen to the heavens. And so the heavens, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, will replace them. They, are, they will not the same heavens. At that day, وَأَشْرَقَتِ الْأَرْضُ The earth will be shined with the light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَأَشْرَقَتِ الْأَرْضُ بِنُورِ رَبِّهَا So everything is, is ready. وَوُضِعَ الْكِتَابِ And the book will be presented. وَوُضِعَ الْكِتَابِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will put the book before everyone this is the book of the deeds it's for every people a book some will receive his book from his right side and some will, be, will receive his book from left side those who receive their book from right side they are the righteous one and those who receive their book from the left side they are the evil one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about that moment when the book, book of deeds presented at that moment everyone when he looks to his book they will say Mani had al -kitab. what is the matter with this book La wala kabira. it doesn't remain any sm small deed or any big it contains all of them. Allah Azza wa Jal says, They found what they used to do. They found whatever they did. They didn't find anything uh, they didn't uh, uh, do. But whatever they did, they found it. Your Lord doesn't wrong anyone. Your Lord does not deal unjustly with anyone. وَوُضِعَ الْكِتَابِ And the book will be presented. وَجِيءَ بِالنَّبِيِّينَ And the apostles of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, will be brought at that moment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring them. وَجِيءَ بِالنَّبِيِّينَ وَالشُّهَدَاءَ 
and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring the witnesses. Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring the Nabiyeen, the apostles? Because every nation, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, takes uh, take account, takes account uh, about their deeds, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala judge about the nations, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask first of all the messenger, will ask first of all the apostle, did if he did uh, his, if he did convey the message, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first of all will ask him. Before asking the nation, the Nabi, the Prophet will say, I convey them the message as you know, O oh my Lord. And he will declare, he will testify that uh, he conveyed to them the message and he will bear witness against his nations, against his nation, uh, those who do not believe in him. So after him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will begin to ask his nation, will begin to ask them why did, didn't they accept the true message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Why did they refuse and how dare they refuse the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? You may think that Allah is the one who know that the messenger already conveyed the message, but he uh, makes him to say it to, uh, in order to make it manifest to the nations, to the nation, uh, to the folk of that prophet. And then he will ask them, why did not do that? Why didn't you accept the truth? This is the clear and manifest judgment. Uh, and not only the messengers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring uh, the angels also. The angels whom, who, are, uh, who are observed us our, uh, throughout our life. There is two, with every soul, there is with every person, there is two angels. Raqibun atid, they observe his deeds and they are recording. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna kunna nastansikhu ma kuntum ta'amaloon. We were copying whatever they, uh, they uh, whatever you were doing. We were copying them. And these uh, two angels, by command, command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they, they were observing the person. At that moment, they will come and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala named them as shuhada the witnesses and we learn from the Quran that after the uh, messengers after they testify that they conveyed the messenger message and after they uh, bear witness against uh, their nation and after the angels well then uh, when they I will utter what they saw about that person. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say to him, if you need more witness, we can bring witness from yourself. Then the person will say, okay, give, bring witness from myself. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make his hand, will make his skin utter. And they will say, وَقَالُوا لِجُلُودِهِمْ لِمَّا شَهِدْتُمْ عَلَيْنَا